communications are out again in Gaza and food supplies are dwindling, AP correspondent Charles De La Desma reports. Communication systems in the Gaza Strip were down for a second day, with no fuel to power the internet and phone networks, causing aid agencies to halt cross-border deliveries of humanitarian supplies, even as they warn people may soon face starvation. The World Food Programme says nearly all of Gaza's 2.3 million people need food. Gaza receiving only 10% of its needed food supplies daily, and dehydration and malnutrition are growing. Aber Atifa a Mideast regional spokeswoman for the program says people are facing the immediate possibility of starvation, adding with few trucks entering Gaza and no fuel to distribute the food, there's no way to meet the current hunger needs. I'm Charles de la Desma. A prosecutor in Georgia is seeking an August trial date for former President Donald Trump and others charged over efforts to overturn the 2020 election in the state. Fulton County District Attorney Fannie Willis on Friday filed a motion to schedule the start of the trial for August 5th, 2024. Willis wrote that the proposed trial date balances potential delays from Trump's other criminal trials and the speedy trial rights of the other defendants. Trump's attorney said his client opposes Willis's motion. President Joe Biden and Mexican President Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador have pledged to work side by side to confront illicit fentanyl trafficking into the U.S. and to manage a growing number of migrants traveling to the border between their nations. The two leaders were in San Francisco Friday for the annual Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation Conference. Biden's relationship with Lopez Obrador has at times been tense, but the two were all smiles and compliments on Friday. Biden told Lopez Obrador, quote, I couldn't have a better partner than you. The Mexican leader called Biden a, quote, good man and a, quote, extraordinary president. For additional stories, 24 hours a day, visit voanews.com. This is VOA News. Amid an opposition boycott, Madagascar's President Andre Rod- Rajalina has taken an early lead in a presidential election. Reuters correspondent David Doyle has more. Madagascar's President Andre Rajalina has predictably taken a commanding early lead in his bid for re-election. Preliminary results showed on Friday. Predictably, because this election has been marked by an opposition boycott and low turnout. Ten out of twelve opposition candidates have refused to take part, saying Rajalina should not have run again. That's because he acquired French nationality in 2014, which the opposition alleges automatically revokes his Malagasy nationality. They also accuse him of creating unfair election conditions. The issue has prompted regular protests in Madagascar weeks. David Doyle from Reuters. Ukraine's Kharkiv region has started building underground schools. Reuters correspondent Fiona Jones reports. Schools in the eastern region, which borders Russia, had to resort to online learning after the February 2022 invasion. Kharkiv is frequently targeted by Russian missiles, drones and artillery. The governor reported on Thursday that in 24 hours, three different districts had been struck. The chief district architect, Anton Korotovsky, said two schools are currently under construction. He added that more of these schools, which act as bomb shelters, will be planned by the end of the year. The buildings will be equipped with necessities like ventilation, water and beds so people can stay there for more than one day. Fiona Jones from Reuters. Amazon is cutting hundreds of jobs in the unit that handles the popular Alexa voice assistant. AP correspondent Jackie Quinn reports. In a note to employees, an Amazon vice president says it's shifting some resources away from Alexa and more toward other business priorities, including artificial intelligence. Amazon's been implementing a number of new AI initiatives. While no figure was given out for job cuts, the employees affected are in the U.S. and India. The company's already laid off some 27,000 workers over the past year or so, and the Alexa unit was impacted then as well. I'm Jackie Quinn. The chairman of the House Ethics Committee has filed a resolution to force a vote on expelling Republican Representative George Santos from Congress. The resolution was announced one day after the Ethics Committee issued a withering report detailing evidence that Santos of New York converted campaign donations for his own personal use, such as trips to Atlantic City and the Hamptons. Santos easily survived an expulsion vote this month as lawmakers stressed the need for due process. But the completion of the committee's report has generated new momentum for ousting the scandal-plagued freshman. Santos announced this week that he would not seek re-election. For additional stories, visit voanews.com. I'm Alexis Strobe.
Thank you for watching. Can you do me a favor? Please leave a comment in the comment section below. That would really help. Thank you and see you again soon.